Hello, hello, hello. Kenny Evans here, another car video. The topic of the video is how to deal with someone who cheats on you. So before we get into this topic, definitely got to let y'all know this channel is all about helping both men and women be the best they can be in all aspects of their lives, the health, the wealth, dating relationships, and the mindset so you can be a complete person and be a better version of yourself so we can make this world a better place. So thank y'all for being here. To you new people, thank you. Returning people, thank you for being here. Of course, if you haven't already done so, uh, subscribe, hit that notification button, and of course, uh, like the video if you just want to support me or if you, you think I'm going to do a, a, a good video. Definitely hit the like button. That will definitely help with the algorithm. And of course, share the video. Let's get this out to more people so we can definitely help people be the best they could be and help make this world a much more positive and loving place. Um, I guess outside of that, thank you. And uh, let us get into the topic at hand. So how to deal with someone who cheats on you. So this is obviously a very important topic because people cheat. And people cheat all the time. And learning how to deal with it can save your life, keep you out of jail, and keep you stress-free and happy. So this is very, 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 very important video. And something that I wish a lot of people um, would actually uh, talk about. Because being able to get somebody and dealing with how things, uh, dealing with things when they go bad or somebody cheats. Those are two different things, but both very important because they will, again, help you with happiness, peace, and being able to move forward in a confident and productive way. Either way, whether you get someone or if things go wrong and somebody cheats on you, you know? So um, I'm going to give you four ways uh, to definitely deal with uh, somebody cheating on you and of course the bonus at the end so you definitely want to stay to the end for the bonus because the bonus is going to be very powerful very 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 powerful bonus so you definitely don't want to miss it all right so let's get into this number one and this is very important because if you want to have a happy relationship you must have this kind of mindset regardless if you believe you are um you know regardless if you truly believe it's because of you or not ultimately the person who cheated on you you must first realize the person who cheated cheated because of you i know you're like wait what how i was doing everything right and i did this and that and that and this and that and they still cheated and that's your fault because you did not vet them properly you did not vet that person properly and let's say you did. Maybe you started slacking. You know, ultimately it comes back to you. You know what I mean? You're responsible for what happens as a strong man. If you're a weak man, sure, you can blame other people. Blame other people. It's everybody else's fault. It's not your fault. It's everybody else's fault if you're a weak man, if you're a weak person, weak woman. It's everybody else's fault. But if you're a strong man or woman, it's your fault. You take responsibility for, responsibility for everything that happens in your life, good and bad. And again, if you didn't vet the person properly or if you let things slide and you just, you know, let things get worse over time, that's your fault. If you didn't check her when she did things you didn't like, that's your fault. It's not her fault or, or the, the, whoever cheated on you's fault. It's your fault. You know, always remember. The person who cheated on you, they did it because of you, you know, and it's a bitter pill to swallow, but you must if you want to be a stronger person and if you want to be able to move forward in a more positive direction. That's the first thing you got to realize, you know, first way to dealing with it. Understand you got to take responsibility. Second. Remember, the person who cheated on you disrespected you. The person who cheated on you disrespected you. That is almost as, uh, as important as the first point. The person who cheated on you disrespected you. Keep that in mind. So I don't care how good they look, how, how long you've been with them, how all the stuff you did with them. 
all the great stuff and memories you guys had, you know, everything, how beautiful they are, how great they are in bed, whoever, whatever, how, whatever it is, they still disrespected you. All the stuff you guys did together, they still disrespected you. They did not respect you enough to keep all that stuff in mind that you did for them, that you, you guys did together. They had so little respect for you that they didn't remember any of that in that moment or moments. So you have to keep that in mind. When somebody cheats on you, they disrespect you. Regardless of everything that you guys been through, they still disrespected you. All right. So number three, this ties into number two. Don't get mad at the person your partner cheats with. You might be like, what? Are you crazy? This person cheated on my with me, on my partner with me. I mean, blah, 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 blah. This person cheated with my partner. How can I not get mad at them? First and foremost, even if you know the person and they could be your very close to you, whoever your partner is should be closer. So the level of respect should be higher. The level of loyalty should be higher. You're sharing time, your body, fluids, energy with your partner. Even if it's your brother, sister, who they cheated with, it doesn't matter. Your best friend, you're never going to be as close as you're supposed to. You're not supposed to be as close as you, you would be with your partner. All right. And again, it's your partner who disrespected you. All the everything. They still disrespected you. But again, it's not saying if this some is some, whoever your partner cheated with is someone who is close to you, you shouldn't be, um, you should still be close with them. You should be, no, you're going to distance yourself from them because you're, you're, they've shown you that they can't, you can't trust them and they're not trustworthy, but you're not going to get mad at them. It's a piece you understand. Hey, I, they're not supposed to be, the partner's not supposed to be in your life and whoever the person, if they, if you know them who is close, supposedly close with you, they're not supposed to be in your life. And that's it. You move on. You don't get mad. You know what I mean? And again, if you're going to get mad at anybody, you're going to get mad at your partner because they owe you more. They're supposed to be closer to you, not the person who they cheated with. All right. So I appreciate y'all who've been, who've made it this far into the video. Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. Y'all are awesome. Definitely subscribe, hit that notification button so you're notified or whenever I upload some new videos. And of course, share the video so we can get this information out to more people who need it. So again, we can make this world a better place for you and future generations. All right. Fourth way to deal with if somebody cheats on you. Fourth way to deal with it. Always remember there's other fish in the sea. Always remember there's other fish in the sea. And if you remember that, you will not first get attached to somebody who disrespects you. And second, you will be willing to move on without any hesitation because you understand this person is not for you. And that's very powerful. If you have that abundance mindset, you understand there's other fish in the sea. You're not going to be attached to somebody who is clearly not good for you. I don't care what you've been through. You could have kids. You could be married for 30 years. It doesn't matter. At this point in their lives, in your life, they are not good for you. You know? So you realize if you have to move on, you have to move on. All right? Very important. You realize if you have to move on, you will move on. Because you have to. All right? Very, very important to keep in mind. Always remember there's other fish in the sea. So thank y'all. Y'all made it to the end. We here. We got the bonus for y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for making it again. Um, I hope you, you're enjoying the video. I hope you're learning a lot. So definitely apply what you learn if you want to get some great results. Apply what you learn if you want to get some great results. And I get it. Some of this stuff is going to be controversial. It's going to be against what you've always thought. But definitely apply it if you want to get some good results. All right. So now we got the bonus, and here is the mag daddy of it all. If 
And here's the bonus. If your person, the cheater, cheats, you want them to choose who they want to be with, whether it's you or the person they cheated with. You let them choose. Don't try to don't attempt to force them to be with you or don't push them away necessarily if if you still want to be with them. If you don't want to be with them, let them go. Move on. Good riddance. But if you still want to be with them, let them choose who they want to be with, whether it's you or the cheater. But at the same time, you're going to distance yourself. Tell them, hey, you know, and this is something I got from Corey Wayne, Coach Corey Wayne. Say, hey, you know, I, I love you. I appreciate you. I still want to be with you, but I can't be with you if you since you cheated with me. So I'm going to give you space, let you do your thing. You know, if you want to go back to that person, cool. I'm going to do my thing. And if in the future you still want to get together and if I'm not dating anybody or if I'm, you know, I want to get back with you, then we can make something happen. But right now I need some space. Um, so I'm going to let you do what you want to do, you know. And that's it. It's the best of both worlds. The no contact, essentially. Because at the end of the day, you're going to do your thing. And if they decide to come back, you're going to have some rules and regulations. Things that you're going to, they're going to have to do in order to get back with you officially. Not just because they come back, they say they want to come back. You're just going to be there, be in a relationship with them again. You're going to have some rules and regulations that uh, you're going to have to, they're going to have to abide by in order to get back with you in the relationship, you know, so it's very powerful. Uh, that's all I got for y'all. Thank y'all for watching again. Um, definitely like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button, share the video so we can get this video out to more people who need this message. Um, let me know what you uh, thought about the, 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 the different ways of how to deal with the, if someone cheats with you, cheats on you. Let me know if you agree, disagree, um, of course, respectfully. Um, outside of that, of course, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. Um, of course, this channel is not just about me. I made the channel, but I made it for you. So let me know what you want me to talk about so I can make this channel better for you. All right. Um, donations are always appreciated if you find value in the video. They help me stay motivated. They'll help me bring higher quality, um, you know, uh, products to my channel and therefore for you make the, the, the channel better my videos better donations are always very much appreciated thank you thank you thank you I appreciate it and thank you in advance um <clears throat> but yeah outside of that you know what I mean I hope to see y'all next week y'all stay safe and apply what you learn here man met people apply what you learn get some awesome results be in happy relationships but always remember, the strongest person is the happiest person.